I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Punch. Ow. In the pooper. And we are continuing Higurashi when they cry because I am in desperate need to know why um, I had seen images of a lot of blood in this. Um, if you're just tuning in, uh, my name is Punchy in the game. Actually, my name is Keichi. Um, we are new, we went, we're like a new kid, kind of, after a month in this school. I have a lot of friends. Right now, I'm in class. Um, if you're watching from the last video, I'm still here. I just stopped recording and started a new one because I really want to know what happened. So let's just keep going. It's difficult being the teacher for all the different grades in one classroom. She has to teach something different to each one. Yeah, that must suck. Maybe there's like 30 kids or something. But naturally, she ends up spending all her time with the younger kids. Rina and Mian, being the highest grade in the class, end up mostly doing self-study. That's impressive because if I was left alone, I probably wouldn't do any studying. They end up, they even end up helping teach the younger kids, so it seems like they can never get their own studies. Equally impressive. Good on you. Good on you, mate. They're actually way behind where my studies have progressed to. Okay, never mind. But, I mean, still, it's impressive. As a result, I'm pretty much taking over for the teacher and helping me and me in with their studies. You go, Punchy. I'm, I'm so good. You're... Well, I'm a pretty good teacher, Kate. Oh, shit. Punchy Coon. Easy to understand. We need to took a breather after finishing highlighting an important section. Te teaching. Oh, teaching is making me lose confidence. Makes me aware of how shallow my understanding of the subject is. It's pretty wise, I'm saying. They say that to teach someone something, you need to understand it backwards and forwards. So while you're teaching us, you're getting in your own practice. In contrast, the person over here is quite, oof, les faire, les faire, omelette du fromage about things. I'll look that up. What that means, I don't know. For one, isn't supposed to be in a grade higher than me? Look, man, this is for your own good. You don't take this serious. If you don't take this seriously, there'll be trouble later on with these marks. It's not like I'm aiming to go on to a prestigious school. I'll be fine as long as I pick up what I need to for the entrance exams and a little at a time. Her staunch defiance was really something else. Really something else. This was a different type of relax than somebody who already knew what was going to be on the entrance, exam entrance exams. For when I watch, you know, watch anime, entrance exams are some tough shit. So if you're behind... Hey, John! Punchy-kun is doing the best he- best- doing his best to teach us- I need water, fuck. We need to try hard to- You're such a good and honest kid, Rina. I'll make sure to- I'll make sure you guys get accepted into a good school. What? Oh, thanks so much! Why she's surprised, huh? Especially you, Rina. Private lessons. Just the two of us. Oh, thank god Punchy has like- the same kind of the same humor as me. Pri private lessons. A puff, of, a puff of smoke, shaped like a halo, popped out of Rena's head. Exactly, what kind of private lesson is she fantasizing about that makes her turn so red? I'm pretty sure I've seen hentai like that. <laughs> so this is where it came from. I'd like to hear the play-by-play -play about that next time. While Mina was flipping through her vocabulary flashcards, she threw out a casual question. So, in the city, do you study this much? If you don't know at least this much, you can't get into university. So you study just to get into a university? Well, yeah, basically. I mean, I don't know what you'd ever do. While knowing this stuff won't ever come in handy for the future. I know people say a lot, but that's kind of a lot. When I get to... When I have like, if I play like, I don't know, D and D and stuff, and like I had to, we had to figure out someone, we had to figure out like the equilateral of the equilibrium of the triangle, blah. Actually, we do have to figure that stuff out. So, if you're in high school and you're studying, keep studying that shit. You're gonna use it in D and D one day. I guarantee it. 
Out here, you can get into university as long as your tent is good enough. Really? That's pretty amazing. Study equals entrance exams. Having that basic law of the universe will easily overturn sent me to state of shock. Yeah, that's great. That is right. There aren't really enough people out here to warn weeding them out with an exam. That's true. There's only like 30 people and they're all different grades in one class. If anyone can get into university, then there's no need to be all tight about this stuff, right? How nice would this be, right? And isn't like the rest of Japan like struggling for this stuff? Well, that's true, but you should at least know some stuff that's common knowledge, like 2 plus 2. This old thing, this old geezer, all oh, this me, this old geezer thinks that instead of wasting time studying pointlessly, oh wait, maybe that's her. This old geezer thinks that instead of wasting time studying pointlessly, you should be spending your precious teen years doing something, doing some more meaningful things. It was too profound of a statement to simply laugh off. But since it was me and it probably didn't actually have that deep of a meaning. Good old sexy me and I mean, voluptuous, I mean, short me and In place of a chime, the sound of the principal waving a handbill drifted through the classroom. Punchy-chan, we're done. We're done. It's a wonderful lunchtime. Lunchtime is the best. In a complete 180 from her unmotivated state, Mian gave the commands that signaled the end of morning period. Punchy-kun, let's have lunch. Star. I might have been making a very troubled face. Mina smiled brightly at me. Alright, let's eat. Oh, Mina. Even though you wait creepily outside my window, at night. I'm happy to have you as a friend. There seem to be different cliques, even within the class. Most of them were divided up by gender and age, but our group was different. Our ages were different, and we had both boys and girls. Mm -hmm. But we weren't reserved around each other. This level of openness makes a transfer student like me pretty happy. That's pretty great, actually. Being a transfer student at one point myself, it's pretty tough. Rina and me and pushed their desks together. Decks. Still think about magic from the last video. Desks together. So they were facing each other. At the same time, Sotoko and Rika chan were slowly lugging their desks over as well. Where are the guys? Oh, I guess I am I the guy? <laughs> am I the one that makes this diverse? Pachikun, hurry, hurry! Rina waved her chopsticks in an unrefined manner. Oh why? I never tried to hurry me along. Unless everyone was together, they wouldn't even open their lunchboxes. Oh, Well, I mean, how it is to be young. Oh, shit. Punchy Stone's lunchbox- Oh, wait. Oh, it's the- it's the bitch. Punchy Stone's lunchbox is most absurdly filled with nothing but breast crusts, like the sort of destitute plebeian. Wow. I thought you said these girls were, like, behind. That's pretty advanced. I don't even say that on a regular basis. Why don't you just show it to us? Come on. Even though Satoko was hurling insults at me, she still wouldn't open the lid of her lunchbox until I was there. Ugh, jeez, what a friend. I pulled out my lunchbox swiftly and dragged my chair over to join the circle. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Well then, Representative Me, please give the signal to start. At first, it was kind of embarrassing, but I got used to it pretty fast. At this point, I probably wouldn't even open my own lunchbox if someone else was too slow. Our ages and genders may have all been different, but we are all friends. I think I'm the only opposite gender here. <laughs> Let's eat! Koi! That's what they say in anime, right? Eat the monkey, eat them, eat the something mouse. The sound of our little five part chorus echoed beautifully throughout the classroom. Really, though, I've gotten pretty used to this group made up of all girls. See, I am the only male. But of course, oh, well, Punchy already knows what I'm thinking. Of course, there are other boys in the class, but they're a lot younger, so they were scared to approach me. Oh, <laughs> that's to be expected. Why? Well, I thought like you little kids look up to cool older guys. Younger boys just, just see older boys as scary. I don't think so, Punchy. Compare that to girls. Well, at least girls aren't picky. I guess girls are nicer. Actually, I say that. We all put up side dishes in the middle where everyone was free to pick at them. I thought girls wouldn't mind sharing. We're sharing a lunch here, but 
where does all the blood come from? I really want to know. Like, what? it's so normal now. I thought girls would mind sharing a meal with a guy. So I was a bit flustered joining in. However, Mia noticed that and teased me quite a bit. As a fruit of my efforts? Question mark? Huh? I can now reach over and take sides from anybody's lunch. My my, isn't Sir Kate? Oh wait. My my, isn't Sir Punchy's lunch extravagant today? My my, isn't Bitch Sato Madam Satoko's lunch extravagant as well? That the stew stuff has already has a nice look to it, rather trendy. Bite into the fight that Satoko was starting. Our chopsticks locked in a cross counter, stabbing into each other's lunch. My, how delicious! Oh, this tar is so good. The stew stuff is good too, even cold. After seeing my happy face, Rikuchan expression broke into a little smile. I saved some from dinner last night. By the way, Satoko. Oh, she sounds so much. She also sounds too much like Mio. By the way, by the way, Satoko and Mika-chan's lunch are always the same. Oh, I hope I don't have to like pump up the volume for the when I say when I speak in her voice. It seems that Rika-chan makes it for both of us every day. Rika-chan made this too. These taste like mom's home cooking. And if you watched episode one, which if you did it, you should snap. That's the link. Or I don't know how actually I don't know how to do that, but hopefully I'll have be able to figure out how to put a link. To watch my first video, but mom's cooking is perfect and impeccable. I was honestly impressed. The carrot rosettes. What's a carrot rosette? I'm gonna put in a picture of that now. Weren't, f weren't from a mold, they were done by hand with a knife. That's not easy to do. I guess Rika Chan is just good at this sort of thing. She's really good at sewing, laundry, and stuff like that. Amazing, right? Amazing! Because why she looks so evil? <laughs> like why she looks so evil when she says that? I'm, oh god, I forgot her name already. Satoko, right? Mika, Mika's quite sexual in many ways. <laughs> That's nothing for you to boast about with that face on. Look at that face. Mina, Mina's actually better at cooking than I am. <laughs> Seeing that the topic of conversation switched to Rina when she wasn't expecting it, making her blush and trip over her words. Like me. Rina's lunch was really the star of the table. Not only did it look good, it tasted good. I hope so. Everyone pulled everyone else pulled for Rina's lunchbox constantly. I never liked this one so much before, so I made it a lot this time. It's good, I hope. I hope. It's got high marks from me. Ah, man, you're taking too much. Knocking Mina's chopsticks aside, I reached out, trying to secure my own portion. So Toka and Richa-chan reached... Oh, God. It's so hard to say all this. Richa-chan reached over at the same time and struggle ensued. Everyone shouted in mouthful after mouthful, praising it, and Rina's lunchbox was soon empty. It was kind of bad that no one thought to leave any for Rina. Poor Rina, I hate that. Like when you have a box of cheesy bread from Domino's and then you offer one to one person and everyone's like, can I have a piece? I'm like, yeah, sure. Just grab a little bit. No, they grab a whole slice. And you have none for left for yourself. And you have one left. And you feel like a bitch for spending how much on... <sighs> Sorry, I'm so bothered by that. What was that? It's kind of bad that no one thought to leave it for Rena, But Rena seemed rather satisfied as she looked on. What an angel. How do you like it? Isn't Rina san an extremely good cook too? Quite different from Punchy san. Oh god. Punch you. Jesus. Pooper. Huh? I said that's nothing for you to boast about. You're not much different from Punch. From Punchy chan, Satoko. Can you tell the difference between broccoli and cauliflower yet? Yeah. One's white, one's green. Satoko's face went pale. Is she colorblind? Hey, hey, even I can tell the difference between broccoli, broccoli and cauliflower, you know? Well, of course I can. I really can. It's really hard for her to lie. <laughs> I guess that's what her redeeming quality for me, since I think she's a bitch. Logical. They both they taste both taste good when they're boiled and tough mayo, right? You shouldn't be picking on her. 
Mi-chan too! She just tried to kill me! Rina hurriedly tried to follow up with me and laughed haughtily as she drew closer to Satoko. Well, well. Just pretend it's a little home ec lesson. Now let's talk. What's this? Mia lifted up her chopsticks, between them a piece of green stuff wrapped in bacon. Is it just bacon? But that's a spig. <laughs> Mia made eye contact with me. Three seconds. I had Rika watch Rika's Rika Chan's mouth covered. Holding a piece of bacon, wrapped asparagus, giving her two choices. She's pretty terrible. Ah. Oh. I love Mia. Mio, Mia? Mia and Chan, yeah. Uh, um, well, the old one is cauliflower. No, wait, the green one is cauliflower. So which? Mm -hmm. Probably the yellow one is broccoli, the blue one is cauliflower. What? Where does blue even come in? Do you really know which is which? How about you just give up? I expect no less from the class representative, the oldest. The way she drives people to the corner just shows how much how much experience she has in what? <laughs> what is it? How does that mean she has experience? This is just a hunch, but being brought into the Sonozaki household must be quite the ordeal. I guess it's her last name. Well, I do know. I really do. Then answer the question. Well, I know. Well, I know. <laughs> she cries a lot. She broke down and started crying. Oh, for her. When she acts like this, she actually starts to seem her age. How old is she exactly? I'll have to wiki this. Oh, but I can't wiki it because I don't want to read ahead. Oh, how cute! Me and Andrew state of euphoria as a toko baller. <laughs> What's this music? <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't know that if you googled Higurashi when they cry logo. And then. <laughs> Um, hit images, you can like get all these pictures of blood, or like characters with blood. It doesn't show anything, just shows like some character with blood. She she rubbed her cheek against Satoko's head and smothered her. Really, a very content face. Oof. One that wouldn't care if the world ended right then. That it was that kind of smile. I could see it. Mina, oh. Mina, Mina, Mina's picking on me. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to her voice. Cute, cute. It's okay, I mean, I mean, I only to take care of this. All these bad people who tease my little sister. Oh, damn, damn, Rena. Killing the smackdown. It was like a flash of lightning. What was that just now? Both of, the, both of Rina's fish shot at supersonic speed, striking me and me squarely in the faces. Damn! Damn, Rina. Hold those guns back. Before we knew it, me and I were sprawled, spread eagle on the floor. Staring up at the ceiling with matching welts on our faces. This is the first time you've got one, right? Today, she went easy on us. Oh, let's start talking. Easy? You mean there's something harder than this? With that, me- oh, sorry. Breathing into the microphone. With that, me and I both slumped our heads back to the floor in unison. From now on, I'll be careful when I'm within striking distance of Rena. Please, so Sotoko Chan, I took care of them. Mm, cute! Oh, people in my house are gonna think I'm crazy. I wanna take you home. Making sure Rina couldn't see it, so Tucker stuck her tongue at us. Oh, this bitch! God, damn it all! Rina using Rina like a puppet. Rika tried to massage our bruises without saying a word. Good old Rika. I guess that's a day of school. Should I keep going? I should probably stop. I'll go on a little further. I where did the blood come in? Oh, God. No matter what the day had held, the last school bell always came too soon. Oh, I actually came 20 minutes later. Our shadows stretched off into the distance. Hey, Pudgy Coon, tomorrow do you have plans or anything? Or anything? Oh, I was supposed to go. Huh? 
It was such a direct question for Mina, I inadvertently blushed. It, it was, if it was, if it was for a date, then wouldn't you do it more subtly? Mina saw my lost of words and realized that I misunderstood, and turning red as well. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that, you see. So apparently that wasn't what she meant. Too bad, Punchy. But since it always fun when means a little panic, I went along with it a little. Oh really, so it wasn't meant that way? <laughs> Playing it up, I slumped my soul just feigning de dejection. Is it re dejection? Rejection? Log. Dejection. Not rejection. Why are you so disappointed? Why? Why? Nichon! Pfft! <laughs> oh, I say. <laughs> Unable to hold it any longer, Mian slapped me on the back. I see this old geezer never knew you could push your buttons like that. <laughs> what is it? Mian was rolling on the floor, clutching her stomach while Rina flitted around completely bewildered. Be bewildered. I couldn't help but start laughing as well. Feeling a bit guilty, I ruffled Rina's hair. Just kidding, sorry, it was a joke. That was my fault. She really is a cute one. Ugh, this is like main story, girl. If this is dating sim, am I supposed to end up with her? Oh, what? A joke? Since when? Since when? Huh, uh, about halfway through? Half, uh, halfway? So punchy, that means you weren't actually, you weren't acting when you blushed at the start. Huh? <laughs> that, huh? <laughs> that means? It was only a momentary lapse, but there was no way me and Will let such a delectable detail slip by her. Uh, well, you see. Saying anything more was also a bad idea. In my bewildered state, I slipped further into an unfavorable position. After that, Mian continued to tease me about it for a while. Ugh, Mian. Ugh, okay, maybe we need to stop here, guys. Ugh. That's three videos, and the blood hasn't come out yet. Ugh, I'm really eager to see it. But, I mean... As, like, Vision I was going, this is fine. I am really excited to see where this ends up. Okay guys, thanks for watching this again. If you come across this again, thank you for watching this. It's 9 o'clock again, just like... Oh, I say last time, but last... But, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I don't say no. Sarange? Yeah. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Ow.